so you all are interested in the zone in, in such a capacity that you have decided to book passage for whatever reason. As you guys have learned about the zone, whether they're rumors or, or news reports or Wikipedia, whatever it was, you found out that it's pretty hard to get into the zone. The military doesn't like people going. The government certainly hates it when you do. But there's people who do pay very well for artifacts and just random things that you can bring back to provide research and data about it. Or maybe you are running from the law, or, or maybe you're looking for some magical rumor that you heard about. But for some reason, you were drawn to a little tiny town just outside the cordon called, called uh, <laughs> Datiaki. There we go. It's a small little village. There's a few houses, a bar, a grocery store, not much else. But you made your way there to meet with a man named Coyote, who is renowned for getting people past the military patrols and getting them past the court. You all are sitting around at a camp outside of town, about half a mile, in a wooded area, waiting, because before he left you to your own devices at the camp, while he was preparing for the run, he lets you know that the military has been aware of some of the things he's been doing. And he can't have his stalkers, or his would-be stalkers, <laughs> staying inside the town, as it draws a little too much attention. At the camp, there's a few other stalkers that you, you, other than you, totaling about eight people. There's a small fire, people are sitting around, talking, just resting and waiting for nightfall, for when they can try to sneak into the zone. You all see each other sitting around the fire, waiting, having no idea what's coming next. And what are you guys doing as you're waiting? <sighs> uh, checking faces, making sure I don't uh, recognize anyone. And ideally that no one recognizes me. That's a good move. And I'm assuming you all don't know each other, correct? No one has decided nope. that they want to know anybody. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. So just a bunch of random strangers sitting. I'm going to be reviewing the little map that I put together of the cordon, what information I could find. Okay, well, as you're huddled around the fire, you see a, uh, a shifty man looking at faces. <laughs> Another one looking at a map. You hear a couple of other stalkers talking uh, about some of the, the rumors that they've heard. If you were interested in listening to them. Oh, well, yeah. certainly. <laughs> I will be listening. Well, since this is session yeah, zero. Same. <laughs> uh, roll a d20. To determine how how many rumors you pick up on, and what you can make um, modified at all. Uh, with your listen check, yeah. Excellent question. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Listen on your skills. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is a skill. Check. Listen check. Skill check. Yeah. So you'll. Oh, what was the command? Hold on. Uh, it's there's question a mark question roll. mark roll d twenty. Yep. Yeah, but there's a command for rolling it with mods. Uh, oh. It should be. I mean, I got mark a two mod. anyway. It don't matter. Question mark mod. Yeah, question uh, mark mod. Yeah. And then you d twenty d twenty plus whatever. I rolled a one. Thirteen. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's that's nice. Oh shit! All right. Eight. Everybody got the rolls in. I didn't know about the modifying thing. Oh yeah. No, I we're, mean, we're if saying. if we're re-rolling with the modifier thing to get rid of our awful first <laughs> rolls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If, we, if we're mean, rolling with a modifier, is it yeah, gets two? Rolling a uh, a one like, like, like damn. 
First roll of the game. (laughs) (laughs) This is going to be a great time. Best omens. I guess I'm just smoking a cigarette staring at a tree. You know. There you go. Okay, so... uh, (laughs) Is that an owl? (laughs) Uh, So, yeah. (laughs) You're getting really... (laughs) Okay, yeah, if you... If you roll the scum one or two, just re-roll. Because <laughs> Dink is okay. the only one who met the DC 10 Hold on. in chat. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know if I'm reading this right. It's a, Is it skill modifier in the skill tree? That's uh, after the uh, skill name. Uh, it so, says mine's a six for some yeah, reason. Yeah, that will probably be correct. So it'll be the skill there we modifier. Go. Alrighty. <laughs> There we go. And like like we all said, yeah, session zero, this little first part is just to get everybody you know, acquainted I mean, with the system. So don't worry. I could be a scumbag and just say I take 10. You could do that too. Oh, but I that rolled would it defeat wrong. the purpose of rolling and adding your numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the point of this. My mod should have been a plus 7, not a plus 4, but it's fine. I passed the DC anyway. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. I fail anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, so yeah, Dinka and Eva definitely hear it. Okay, yeah, and uh, there we go. The Shaggy gun <laughs> hears it as well. Okay, so Dinka, Eva, and Shaggy, you guys hear a few rumors uh, from the other stalkers who are talking. Uh, you hear that there's a man named Sidorovich that is a very trustworthy man, and they're going to go meet him, as they've heard he can definitely help new stalkers. He also heard about an artifact that was just recently smuggled out of the zone, and they heard that it sold for a million dollars in Moscow in the black market. He also heard that a man's son was miraculously healed you know, by an artifact called a jellyfish uh, after they put it under the kid's pillow at night, and his leukemia disappeared. You heard that there's a code word that you need to, to actually meet Sidorovich. You have to knock on the door of his house and say, hey, fatty. And that'll let him know that you're an illegal stalker and on the up and up. There's also another man you've heard of named Sultan, who is always looking for workers as well, and he pays twice as good as Sidorovich does. And you also heard that after really bad storms, sometimes dead people get back up to life and walk around like mindless zombies from a movie. And these rumors might tickle your senses or get put ideas into your head about what might lie past the cordon. And a few moments after you guys are listening to some of these rumors or, or doing whatever you're doing, if you didn't hear them, Coyote comes out of the tree line. He looks out of breath and he seems to have been running for a while. He comes over to the campfire and immediately starts stamping it out. You see he's wearing a, a leather jacket, pretty tattered jeans, as if they as he's been using them for quite a long time. And he has a bandolier with a bunch of what look to be grenades. Uh I I would believe that uh Borea would know that uh some of them are flashbangs, and a couple other ones are smoke grenades. All Anybody right. with military experience might know that. He runs up to you and got, says, "Oh, what's that?" I was say I got demolitions, but yeah, that probably okay. doesn't. You'll, yeah, you would probably know as well. But yeah. After he puts the fire out, he turns to you all. He says, "The time has come. We have to go now. Get your stuff ready." You see Start the other stuff and anything in that I had loose back <laughs> in my bag. There you go. Yeah. After Get looking at my. Yeah. After looking at my camera, I put it firmly back in my pocket. The other stalkers also pack their shit up as well, and in a few moments, everybody's ready to go. Coyote motions to you and has you all line up and file behind him. Follow me as quickly as Right there, following instructions. Fall in. Like a good soldier. I'm going to stub my cigarette out on my boot, though. Yeah. It could be a good idea. Yeah. You have to let every other stalker know how cool you are. <laughs> mm. Yeah, right. 
Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> As you're in line, he turns to you, the entire group and says, follow me as closely as possible. We never know if we might run into a patrol. If we do, it's every man for himself. I can tell you that right now. I'm not going to stop and, and save you. I'm not going to get you out of prison. I'm not going to do anything. I wouldn't advise shooting at a, a an actual uniformed soldier. You do you. <laughs> I'm not going to be the guy, again, who, who deals with the consequences. From this point on, after I'm done, we do not talk. We move as silently as possible, and we move quickly. If we do get picked up, I don't know you, you don't know me. Standard stuff. You paid good money for this, and I intend to make it worth your while. You're going to get your money's worth. Don't worry. I'll get you in. But you have to do your part, too. Any questions? Hey, uh, we start? Coyote there. Uh... Ooh, that's the wrong accent. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> the Wisconsin stuff. Coy Coyote, God. don't you know there, bud? <laughs> don't hey there. you fucking hey. know there. Hey, you hoser. Wait one minute. <laughs> <more. laughs> ah, what is well, meaning of hoser? No, I'm just going to ask him which direction the uh, <laughs> the zone is if we do get separated. Cody, you're fucking hoser. Where are we going? I wouldn't yeah, worry about hoser. it. I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. If something goes south, I'd just get the hell out. But if you are willing, wanting to die, it's north. Just head north, huh? due north. You'll see a big wall. If you make it past that, good on you. Just straight north. Just go north. Any All right, that's good enough for me. Uh, nope. I roll sense motive. Sling my. All right, roll your sense motive check. And uh, if I'm reading this correctly, it says I have a plus six. Uh, let me double check your character sheet to make sure. I think that's probably yeah. Correct. I haven't touched um, it since you helped me out with it. Right, I was gonna say it's probably correct because I think we did go with that way. Uh, since Moti, yeah, yep, okay, yeah, plus six, that's correct. All righty. So you got a twenty-three total. Is that correct? Yeah, twenty one d twenty plus six. Well, you already rolled up there, uh, and that's that's correct. I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, wait, uh, that that was for was listening that? in onto the rumors. Oh, never mind. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah. Stupid. Okay. Yeah. So okay. So uh, you got a twelve. Not a, okay. Not a twenty-three. Twelve. Uh, yeah. He is completely telling you the truth. You do not detect any any deception with him whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. Well, if there's no more questions, let's uh, let's keep going. I, I do feel bad. I want to say I usually put you guys up in the little the little motel we have in town, but unfortunately the uh, the authorities have gotten a little wise as to what I'm doing, so I, I had to stash you out here. I hope it wasn't too bad. Because if it was bad, you're in for hell on earth when you get in there. Now let's roll out. You see him hunch over a little bit, and he begins to... Uh, try to cover some of the steps by avoiding any leaves or twigs. You can see he's actually thinking about where he's stepping. Uh, and at this point, you uh, would like to move silently, I would imagine, right? All right. Would, yep. Yes. I, I would. <laughs> so, uh, there is a move silently check that y'all can roll for. I don't have that. So I just oh. roll dexterity bonus, right? Correct. Yep. If you do not have any ranks in it, you can still use it untrained. It's just you, you're just not as good at it. But... 14. Let's see. Okay. Um, it says I have plus a plus two. eight. Nice. Oh, yeah. Ten. Damn. 16. It's fucking shaggy. <laughs> Plus eight. You know, there you go. 
Oh, fuck. I mean, thank God there's a penalty for distance. <laughs> yep. <Yeppers. laughs> Antonov just just evaporates like a like a puff of smoke into the woods. Yes, yeah, he's he's like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> the the truest of stalkers. Uh yeah, so you all begin to move silently and Oh shit, here comes the military. <laughs> I want to try and step in. <laughs> Oh, what's that, buddy? I'm gonna turn you up a little bit. I want to try and step right where he's stepping. I don't know if that's something my guy can do, well, considering how fucking noisy he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do it. Nobody makes any crazy sound. The other guys with you, the other three dudes, they're completely fine. They don't seem to be fuck ups in any way. And you make your way through a wooded area for about another three quarters of a mile. It's starting to get dark, and Sorry. It is a, it's a little bit hard to see, but you, you guys are making it through. Oh, what did you say? Dingo? While we're oh, walking. Yeah. Uh, sorry. While we're walking, uh, I want to, mulling over some of the rumors that he gave us, can I use my knowledge of zone lore to see how accurate any of that seems to be? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And for those guys watching, we just created, instead of, like, arcane knowledge, it is, uh, it is zone lore. <laughs> Zone knowledge. Oh, I suppose we should probably tell you yeah, that the, we're using D20 Modern, by the way, uh, which I, I said in a previous video. But if you didn't watch that, we're using D20 Modern. 22. 22. Okay. Well, you know what? Right off the bat, you don't know names. You don't You don't really know who this Sidorovich guy is other than what you were told before by Coyote. Okay. So, which is that he gives jobs to people. Uh, and and helps people out. That's about it. That's all you know about him. You don't okay. know anything about a code word. He did, Coyote didn't say anything about a code word. Nobody said shit about that. Uh, you've never heard of the Salton guy, so you have no clue. Like that could be whatever. Sure, could be true. Could be false. Okay. Uh, you do know the bad storm thing is completely true. Uh, from from the research you've done on your own, you do know okay. that there are some sign some kind of psychic storm that can basically turn people into into mindless drones after after they happen if you're exposed to them for too long uh and for all you know that there is an there could very well be an artifact that did heal somebody and there could very well have been an artifact that did sell for a million bucks on the black market okay they, they're definitely very rare like you you this matches some of the rumors you've heard before but as far as hard evidence yeah you don't really have any but for it's sure possible completely possible that's that's the case uh you're uh the lines up with scuttlebutt right uh roll a uh i guess roll a wisdom check real quick okay just base of wisdom mod yeah just base wisdom i would uh, think it'd be wisdom plus. mod d20 plus three uh, 16. You know, you know off the bat calling somebody fatty it's probably not <laughs> a good idea Right. <laughs> you can assume fairly well that you should not call him fatty. <laughs> okay, so as I said, it's getting a little darker. It becomes a little harder to move as quickly as you were without breaking a branch or rustling some leaves. But you guys do see through the darkness, the trees are starting to end and you're coming out of the, the tree line. And you do see a concrete wall with a, a little barbed wire patch on top of it. <clears throat> and from what you can guess, that is probably the cordon. Uh, I, I would say Dinka certainly knows that's what the cordon looks like from pictures. Anybody who's actually looked at it uh, for in any capacity other than just like, I heard about the magical zone, probably knows that that's the cordon <laughs> in pictures and video and, and the news. Uh, so, as you guys are coming up to the edge of the tree line, roll spot checks. Okay. And don't worry, you won't, be, you won't be doing plus. this many skill checks in, in the real game. <laughs> this <laughs> Throwing is just, dice is the fun part. This is just to teach y'all. 27. There you go. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. Channel, 22. channel. 
Yay! Uh, I did oh, it. Good lord. Oh, lord. Right. Good eyes. I strong uh, boy. I know. I see. Says I have a <laughs> plus seven. So. Yes, that sounds. Damn. The dice gods are not nice to you tonight, for you. <laughs> he forgot to put his contacts in. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, an eight's not bad. It's no, it's not. I mean, it's average, you know. It's mm -hmm. it's not having skills. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, well, just everyone else is rolling like 17s, 19s. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that's good enough. Eight's enough. Or I guess nine, really. But. Uh, so you see up on top of the wall behind it, just above it, you see an orange flash of light for just a second that flickers and it goes away. Coyote sees this as well and immediately hits the dirt. I follow suit. There you, there you I go. do the same. Yeah, do, do what the experienced guy does. <laughs> yeah. So everybody hits the dirt. You don't make too much noise doing it. And the wind is blowing. Leaves are falling. You can hear through the wind just a bit of talking. So roll listen checks. All right. Okay. Let's see if your good rolls keep up. You can barely huh. make it out. It's very difficult to hear anything. Six. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. 24. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, are we rolling ones or uh, uh, no. what's up? Okay. <laughs> no, That's cool. It's a fail. Yeah. It, it happens, bud. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Let's say love I got a three. <laughs> uh, well, Dinka, you're the only one that hears it. Uh, okay. And you hear some talking between two soldiers. You hear one Is of them. Is there anybody soldiers. like. What's oh, up? Sorry. Oh, go ahead. What's up? Nope. Nope. Go. Oh, so you hear, uh, you hear the soldiers talking. They're sharing a cigarette together just on break. You hear something along the lines of, We're patrolling. We heard there's going to be a group in here tonight. And we want to ambush them. You hear the other one okay. start to laugh. He says, "Yeah, we'll kill them all if they if they try to fight back, and we'll just arrest them like normal if they if they surrender." But it's all in all, it'll be a good time because we actually get to shoot something, right? On this this dog shit assignment that we got. And you see the uh, the soldiers up the the little shadows of them. You can barely make out you can make out their cigarettes, like the cherry on it. You see, you see that kind of move off. I want to, as quietly as I can, relay that to whoever is within arm's reach, the nearest guy to me. Like, hey, heads up, soldiers! They know we're here. Shh. Okay. Well, Coyote. Uh, yeah, yeah, I will we'll say you're next to Coyote. No, uh, close enough to, to tap him. Okay. So Coyote uh, nods to you. It says, back up. I do. Okay. And then, so the rest of you see Dinka and Coyote start to crawl backwards, trying to uh, move back away from the wall. We do like, as well. Uh, yeah. I'm give them one of these, yeah. like, as we're, as we're going. I'm like, shh. Yeah, I'm down low. Excellent. Gonna do the same thing. Okay, well, you guys back off about 500 feet, and you're still pretty well hidden in the tree line. When you guys get to a, a safe enough point where you're pretty sure that they couldn't hear or see you, Coyote pulls something out of his jacket, which uh, he then turns on. It's a radio. And you hear him whisper into the radio, They know. And he motions everybody to be, be silent and stay put. He waits another moment and then whispers to the entire group, cover your ears. 
I cover Thank my you. ears. I cover my ears. Excellent. We all cover yeah. our ears. That's great. It's great because probably within a kilometer of your position, you hear an explosion. It's a. It's probably a vehicle. If any of you have ever seen that explode, don't really know. Uh, but you certainly do know that whoever was up on top of that wall is screaming, <laughs> and they are they are <laughs> running to, to that explosion. And after a good minute or two to ensure that they're not around, Cody just stands up and says, "Make a run for it now." And sprints towards the the wall. I follow. Stand up, right on his heels. Yep. Yeah. (laughs) I follow. Excellent. So you guys run like bats out of hell, trying to keep up with him. And you come out of the tree line and run up to the, the the base of the wall. And you guys notice there's a piece of sheet metal kind of laying up against it. And uh, Coyote rips that shit off as quick as he can. And it reveals there's a little tunnel, probably uh, three foot wide. And he pulls Dinka, who's in, who's in front, pulls him by the shirt, and points at the tunnel and says, get your ass in there. Hey, crawl, take crawl, my backpack, go, 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 my go. rifle, crawl like a motherfucker, and start exactly. going. Yeah, I'll, I'll take my I'll, backpack yep. off and hold it in okay. front of me. There you so go. I keep if you have, hand if you on have it. any large backpacks, you will have to remove them. To, to take the this. time to do so. Excellent. And charge <laughs> forwards charge. into the uh, little tunnel. <laughs> I'm dragging mine behind me. One arm backwards, one arm forwards. Kind of pulling myself forward with my left arm. Well, the tunnel is pretty... Uh, it's very small. And it was obviously made by somebody who... Uh, who took the time to do it over a year or something by hand? Or is uh, it like belly crawl small, or are we belly, like it's it's uh, yeah, walking? You're no, you're crawling like it's like three okay. foot wide, maybe a foot tall. Yeah, I'm just like it, shoving my things ahead of me as I push through. And it, it's like a it's like a groundhog dug this shit out, and it goes on for about ten feet, and you guys are just basically crawling in darkness at this point. And you do see a little light at the end of the tunnel, and you make it through on the other side of the wall. Put myself together. Yeah. Get my things back on. Yeah. Pat myself down. Get back to moving. Perfect. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Quick look over to make sure nothing's damaged and sling it up and get back to it. All yeah, right. I look at I look to make sure I have all my shit. Perfect. Yeah, make sure my my holster's all not full of dirt and shit. Good, good job, <laughs> good job, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so you have all your gear back on. Coyote's making it through the tunnel right now. The last guy through. The other stalkers make it with you as well. On the other side, there's a few trees that have obviously been cut. They're like half stumps. Uh, The wall itself on the other side is pretty much just a straight concrete wall like it was on the other side, except there's some scaffolding positions where people could get up and shoot over the wall if they had to. Uh, you You can smell that cigarettes were just burning around here recently, which is from the other two guys that ran off. And out of, uh, out of nowhere, you hear a gunshot. Uh, hit the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drop back go. down. Hit, hit my belly and pull out my pistol. Well, you, a good job. Okay. You, uh, you hear off to the right, kind of where the guys ran to. You hear some shouting. You can't really make it out, but they're, they're, they're pissed as fuck. And do I see any like concealment nearby? Uh, well, if you roll a spot check real quick, because it is dark. Uh, I will do the same. Says will I. 
28. Um, let's see. 14. 21. Uh, 15. Uh, did Boria roll, or is he? Uh, he no, uh, no, I. He's just gonna keep his face down like a smart man. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Dink and Ia, Ila, yeah, you see, uh, Ilya, Ilya. Yeah. There you go. You see, uh, <laughs> a few hundred meters to your right, there are some kind of uh, some kind of posts coming out of the ground. You can't, you really can't see much over there. Uh, but what you do see is kind of through the clouds in the moonlight, you see that there is a what looks to be a tower. Okay. Like a like a watchtower. Yes, yeah. Not very high, but it, it it is up there, yeah. You can see there's a tower. Okay. And that is the direction the shot came from. I assume that's where those guys were. Um uh... <clears throat> but I don't see anything nearby to like get behind. No cover uh, or concealment. It's, it's just uh just a, a little field with a few trees in it. As far as you can see. What's Coyote doing? Well, that's a great question. Uh he doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> he's just cool with it. Uh, I mean, if he's if just... he's not responding to anything and I'm on the dirt, I'm just going to stay here because it seems like there's nowhere to go quickly and I'm going to follow his lead. Okay. Well, um, oh, go ahead. Is he breathing? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> you, you, better, you better shout and ask him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Guy who's not doing anything, but is he standing? Uh, no, he's laying on the ground. Oh, great. Well, then, we should probably wow. check on him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you, you go to, you, you crawl over to, to check on, on Coyote, and, uh, yeah, he's uh, he's missing half his face. Oh, uh, guys. Could he? We're on our own. Uh, 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 and shots, oh, she are, did. shots are coming that in, and you do hear some alarms. Yeah, I want to I wanna boogie the opposite <laughs> direction of that tower. Yeah, um, as quickly and carefully as I can. Uh, <laughs> uh, how how many how many stalkers are there with us? Uh, well, there are uh, yeah, now eight altogether with you. So uh, minus okay, so I, I let them know Coyote's dead. Obviously, they know that there's shots and and guards coming. Well, Damn it! Uh, one of the uh, you missed your chance. You should have told everyone to run for it while you did the smart thing. I want to well, grab his bandolier of grenades and uh, run. Oh yeah, that's the smart <laughs> thing. <laughs> uh, I'm a rookie. Go. So, uh, so yeah, uh, the uh, uh, Corlin grabs the uh, starts grabbing at his shit and uh, takes something and starts running. <laughs> one of the other yeah. stalkers <laughs> in your party uh, begins to uh, crawl back through the tunnel. <laughs> To get out. All right. <laughs> uh, Other than the grenades, is there anything immediately apparent? Because I'm not going to take the time to search him. But is there anything immediately apparent on him that looks like I should probably grab that? Uh, not really. Uh, just that okay. bandolier's. I'm not going to worry weird. about it. Yeah. I'm following Dinka. Okay. So yep. Portland has the grenades. Uh, you guys are just all running, then, right? Mm. Okay. Uh, Sounds. So... Oh, what's up? Oh, sa sounds like the best thing to do. Stick with the group. There you go. Pretty we much. should all be within one grenade radius. <laughs> <laughs> now you're playing 40K. <laughs> yeah. So you hear some more gunfire. Uh, they're, they're shooting at you near the wood crack. It's, it's certainly indirect uh, for at this point, and it's full auto. So I mean, you, you guys are booking it out and probably shit in your pants. Uh, you do hear bit. you do hear behind you uh, as on the other side of the wall, kind of distant, which you can you, you can recognize as the voice of the other stalker. Uh, you you hear him screaming, "No, no, please, no!" And then a as, he, as he's just mowed down. But uh, so you can just, just you can assume he he made the wrong choice. 
Yeah, there's not going to be a rest today. Yeah. <laughs> no gulag. <laughs> just, just death. Don't worry. <laughs> so would it be common knowledge that there are anomalies, or is that uh, not something that anybody mo- would know? Most people know that there are such things. They do not know what they look like. You do not know right. what they act like, and you certainly do not have detectors. But we know to be aware. So I want, as we're boogieing, I'd like to at least pay attention for hazards. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing the same. That is a good idea. That is a good idea. I'm I'm more concerned personally about tripping over bushes. And it falls into hazards. Occasional <laughs> <laughs> hazards. Yeah. Uh, so it, you you guys are making it through just fine. Uh, you don't hear any weird noises, especially Dinka. You don't hear anything weird or something that because you you would probably know more about what some of the anomalies might look like than others. Uh, there's really not much to worry about thus far, other than the gunshots. Does it sound like they're getting further away, or are they still in our direction? <clears throat> Uh, they they seem to just be in the same place they were, but you seem to be putting distance between yourself and them. Okay. So it's it's not horrible. Then we're yeah we're moving in the right direction away yeah. from the gunfire. <laughs> there right. You go. yeah. But uh, <laughs> we might be running from one thing into another. Could right. I uh, roll for a listen? Uh no, not yet. You're 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 good. I mean, you don't hear right. anything at all that that sounds fucky or nothing. I mean, nothing apparent. All right. Uh, I'd like to try and find a spot that seems, I don't know, relatively safe in the wide open field that we're in to kind of stop and reconnoiter with the group. Well, there is a patch Instead of just of running panicked. There's a patch of trees you know, a couple hundred meters up and you guys can get there. Uh, the, okay. The, yeah. No one seems to really be chasing you. They seem to be more preoccupied, but with just firing some shots at you and having some fun and probably checking on the body of the of your uh foobar bro who crawled back through the tunnel uh and probably trying to let's we forget coyote (laughs) (laughs) so yeah coyote had a bad time Uh, but you make it to the tree line and there are now seven of you all together uh and you are out of breath scared shitless probably and the other two stalkers are, are st- starting to panic a little bit. Uh, they're, they're, well, they're... I want to put the bandolier on so I don't have to carry the fucking thing anymore. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah, you can add to your, your inventory I... there, a bandolier of grenades. Yeah. There's two flashbangs and two smoke grenades. Okay. So we're, we're stopped for yes, a yeah. moment anyway? Yeah, it seems to be. I mean, yeah. that's, that seems to be the plan, right? We're in this copse of trees. No. Yeah, yeah. You're you're you are hidden pretty well in the tree line. It's dark. There's leaves, foliage. And no one I wanna tell those two guys I wanna tell those two guys who are freaking out just to shut up and stay quiet. Especially because they might give away our position. Even if it's dark outside, they can still follow sound. Uh I'll I'll double check my compass, make sure we're still headed the uh desirable direction. Hmm. And I, I will go confirm that with uh, Dinka since he's been uh, leading the running. Okay, well, the other two stalkers shut their mouths. Uh, you know, they're not happy about it, but yeah, they uh, they sit down and one of them pulls out a flash, oh, uh, the one pulls out a cigarette. You know, yeah, they squat down. Yeah. They have to squat. Any uh, any of you fellas know what an anomaly looks like? Uh. Nope. <laughs> they do not. They they don't. Oh. They don't even know what, what the fuck is this guy? Assholes look like at this point. That's just great, isn't it? The fucking the Manitoba stalker returns. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Dublin, but okay. <laughs> it, it ain't. Oh, that's just going for. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> uh, but yeah, you check with the. Uh, Dinkers, uh, Dinker, you're you're sitting there, uh, 
Uh, what were you doing, Dinka? Were you messing with your compass, or, were you... or was that for you? That was me. I was okay. checking the compass and then checking with the guy who was leading the running. Oh, well, uh, yeah, Dinka, you, uh, as you're out of breath trying to recover, uh, you see one of your compatriots come up to you. Sorry, I don't think my mic was working. Oh, um, oh okay. What were you saying? In addition, in addition to that, um, I've got my little tactical map of the coordinate. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I can glean from it. Ah, uh, yeah. Obviously, I don't know exactly where we're at on it, but... Right. Uh, I, I can throw some navigation. Well, you see a guy come up with the compass. <laughs> yes. And, uh, yes. Uh, introduce yourselves. Hi there. I'm uh, <laughs> Boria Brick. Yeah. Brilliant. Think of rubles. Oh, so you are doing the voice. Well, if he's doing the voice, I'm doing the voice. <laughs> <laughs> We all do voice. Fuck it. I'm not doing a voice. I might try to do. A, I'm not doing a voice. A fat Sidor. That's bitch fine. That's fine. It to... Um, uh, right. Throwing that uh, navigation check. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, he, he breaks out his compass, and I've got my. Map there you go. We sort of reconnoiter. Okay. So uh, using both of those uh, devices, you you do find out that you are basically going the correct way uh you're not sure exactly uh the you're not sure the the exact location of where the sidorovich guy is supposed to be uh but given your little map the immediate area past the cordon you do know that you are essentially heading the right direction okay all right uh, you know it's uh, a cluster of houses just past the cordon about uh, about a half clip or so. It looks like there's a small village up here. A potential shelter, if nothing else. There might be other stalkers there. That, that seems like the best place to check out first, anyway. And if I make some guesses about what the army's going to be doing next, do, I, do you want me to do a knowledge tactics attempt for that, or uh, yeah. can I just make a decent educated guess? Uh, yeah, you could just make a, I mean, you could, you could do that. Yeah, you could make a, a roll. They, you know, like, hey, buddy, you know, we should probably keep moving. They know why we're on this side of the wall. They know which direction we're moving. And, uh, it's not like we, uh, left no trace, uh, sprinting through there. Right. And just looking around. Those guys probably shouldn't be smoking right now. Could I do a spot check to look for anything in the distance, like uh, buildings? Uh, you, you, yeah, you can. You can. Uh, uh, did you get 21 there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you, you don't see anything. You can just see the trees and and then the pasture behind you, basically. That's it. All right. So I'm just going to the group. keep an ear out. Sorry, good. I'm, I'm just, just going to keep an ear out for other noises and shit. Yeah. Well, the uh, you, you guys do know which direction to go, and you've been advised by uh, Brickman <laughs> to... Uh... Yeah. Okay. So uh, I was going to say, all I was going to say was come back and tell everybody what we figured out. Right. Well, the other two, the two stalkers are not happy, but especially the one who is uh, smoking and is forced to put out his his cigarette. Uh, but he uh, he does do so because he he does understand. Uh, as for the the other one, he uh, he's actually looking a little bit drunk now. Good. Now that you uh, you take a moment to to actually look at him, and you do recall he kind of was sipping on something back at camp before you guys left. Just gonna look at him, shake my head. Didn't even share. <laughs> well, he he holds out the flask too, and says, "I still got some left." Oh no, it's too late now. If we're gonna die. We, I'm gonna die drunk. Well, yeah, getting drunk will make you die. Yeah. Well, he finishes off the flask and tosses it off into the the woods. 
And so you guys All right, can uh, make your way to the the village on the map or towards the village. Yeah. 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 He- heading that way seems like the uh good thing to do and uh you know, hey, uh Dink, I think if we just start walking they'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh I agree. So we set off in that direction <laughs> and sort of give one of these to anybody paying attention. Well, uh you guys see two guy two of your party walking off into the distance. Yeah, I uh, they seem like they've they got nothing shit better together. to do. I'll follow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, so you all follow, and the, uh, the the two stalkers with you also follow behind. And... Going to get my rifle just low ready, just to have it. I'm on edge. Yeah, you know, that's a good idea. Right. I pat down my parka to make sure my pistol is in my concealed holster. Yep, your weapons are still there. Everything's you haven't lost anything that you can see. Uh, you I'm gonna pull out my pistol, make sure it's loaded. Oh, good to go. go. Good stuff. Having realized that I completely forgot that I had my gun in my hand, I put it back in my holster. Shit! Roll for an ND <laughs> chance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming he was somewhere in the middle of the group. So. Yeah. Roll for squib. Yeah. So you guys begin to make it towards the village. Uh, you come through the tree line. There's a field, uh, which looks like it was some kind of you know, agricultural field at some point. You don't know where it's grown there. A lot of just normal grass has grown up through it now. Uh, and you may get some fences and things like that. Uh, but what you do really notice if you pass the spot check is... Did we roll for the spot check? Yes, roll for the spot check, yeah. Let's see. We roll. Hold on. Um, 28. 28, okay. Um, Seven. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Mine's nine. I'm just really glad Dinka's in front. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a good thing. <laughs> He's the smart one. I'm not strong at him, but fast. Not the worst one. Yeah. <laughs> Big brain. Big brain. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's, I think that's just a Dinker. Uh, it was that. No, okay, that's an old roll. Shag. Yeah, mine was okay, 28. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 28. Okay. Uh, so you do see off in the, in the distance a teeny bit, probably a good 50 feet from where you are, kind of in the, in the field. Uh, you do see some branches and objects kind of just swirling around a little bit. Kind of looks like a little dust devil or something. Uh, but okay. It, yeah, but it it looks a little off because it's stationary. It doesn't seem to really be uh be moving around like wind would. I want to point that out to Boria. You see this over there by the bush, the swirling wind. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's something. That is. I pick up a rock and throw it at it. Since he has concurred with me that that's weird, and I'm not just seeing things, I want to let everybody else know. Uh, so Dinka informs everybody that uh, there's some angry wind floating around <laughs> in a stationary position. What's the wind? What, the the f- what the fuck is this shit? I uh, take a picture of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I want uns- my camera. <laughs> I want to throw a rock at it and see what happens. How uh, far away is it? Uh, so you're still about 50 feet from it, but as you get closer, okay. you do start to hear like a, a weird, swirly sound. Kind of, it doesn't sound like anything you've really heard before. It's just kind of like a little hum, kind of almost. I'm gonna make sure and avoid that. So, uh, 
Yeah. Uh, Ilya was throwing a rock at it. Yes, uh, you, you you see uh, Ilya yeah. throw a rock at it, and uh, it really it doesn't do much. You kind of hear a little sound as it hits, and it just kind of floats along with everything else. Oh, yeah, uh, levitating it. rock! That's cool. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm not nope. fucking touching that. <laughs> The the uh, drunk, uh, the drunk I... stalker begins to move closer to it. Uh, I wouldn't. Do I know uh, if I'm close to him, I want to grab him. No, so you try to grab him. If I'm close to him, I'm not gonna like risk my life for him, but if I can stop him, uh, you you could, uh, you you could certainly try to grab him. Yeah, I'll just grab him. Well, uh, he he doesn't like it very much, and, and begins to push you back and slaps your arm off, uh, your hand off of him, and says, "Don't tell me what to do. This is the drunk star. You're not my dad. Not my dad. <laughs> do I? Does my zone knowledge? Oh, uh, you can try to yeah, you any can of this. It. Yeah, you can roll for it. I'm just gonna laugh at him and ignore him. <laughs> just laugh and ignore. Charisma to come in. Fifteen. Uh, you don't know exactly what this thing is, but you know it's 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 gonna fuck him up bad. Uh, hey, <laughs> I've heard rumors of this. Do not go near it. It will fuck you up. Hey, this this guy's strong. It's already there. done. <laughs> it's already done. <laughs> Gotta try. He's dead already. <laughs> he turns back and gives you the finger and says, "You just want the artifact for yourself. I'm gonna make a million dollars right here." How bad's this shit gonna be, Batman? Get your camera ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the boss is gonna want to hear about this. Uh, you whip that out, that camera out, because I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this guy. We tried. Yeah, you uh, you watch him as he uh, gets close to it and uh, begins to put his hand into it, and you can kind of you can hear the same sound the rock made. As if, it, as if you're kind of like entering like the field of it, and he swats at it back. a few times. I, uh, I'm moving back a bit before he uh, just a little. He, he turns around again, and as he's taking a couple of steps back, he says, "See, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with this." And, and I want to give you, him the finger, <laughs> and then you hear a gust of wind as he starts screaming, and he begins to be. Twirled around in like a little miniature tornado looking thing. So I take and two snaps. <laughs> two snaps. Jesus. Get, your, get your shutter speed right. <laughs> yep. the, times, camera, so. the times is going to want to see this. <laughs> and yeah, he begins to spin around uh, faster and faster and faster. And he's raised further up <laughs> into the air. And uh, he's uh, he spins so fast, he's ripped apart. Oh Jesus Christ! And, uh, everything within oh, I start hell. laughing. Everything within twenty feet is covered in uh, in his meat <laughs> and blood. I look at my camera to make sure it's not completely covered in shit. <laughs> I w- uh, you're gonna have to wipe your eyes. I, w- <laughs> I wipe some blood off my face. Yeah, I, I start I'm, laughing. I'm wiping stuff off. Uh, the the other stalker with you uh, just pulls out another cigarette and lights it. <laughs> <laughs> Such is life in zone. It, do, it doesn't matter right. anymore. We're all going to die here. <laughs> hey, uh, Dinka, you you seem to have some good eyes on you. Uh, how about we keep moving and you keep looking for those fucking things? <laughs> yes, those seem very absolutely. angry. Because I, I don't Did think I that qualifies it? as a quiet death. What what he just had there. That's a good point. <laughs> Probably screamed a bunch. Uh, yes, he did. Yeah. Top of his lungs. Uh, yeah, certainly. Did I notice uh, how close he got before it sucked him in? Uh, he 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 pretty much was he was pretty pretty close to it. Um, uh, but what you close did enough notice, to piss into it? Yeah, close enough to yeah. Okay. He, but the thing you did notice is what when it actually started sucking him in. It sucked a lot of stuff in around him too. Yeah. So you, you did notice that. Okay. It's like rocks and sticks or whatever debris was around got sucked in with him far from a, a larger radius than what he was in when he set it off. Okay. Because I was there before. 
somebody comes to investigate that noise. Um, and I want, I do want to keep eyes peeled for any other anomalies, any other. I will as well. Uh, I, I'll just be yeah. uh, doing eight another on him or something. Doing what on him? I'll I'll just aid another when he makes a check. Oh, okay. Cool. How's that work in the system? Do I roll with advantage or? Uh, I have to hit a target of ten. If I do, you yeah. get a plus two on your result. Yeah, Sweet. so it, okay. it basically makes it a favorable condition when he's helping you if he makes the DC. Should I roll a spot? <clears throat> Uh, I mean, we're moving. Yeah. So we better be spotting. <laughs> you should probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that I'm assuming that that was the role you wanted to make, but one d twenty plus eleven. All right. Not one. Twelve. So thirteen. Oh wait, no, you weren't the assist. No. <laughs> oh damn it. There you go. You got the assist. Okay, okay. so 13. And, uh, I've I got a chunk of stalker in my eye. Okay. So <laughs> Shaggy got an 8. Deke has got a 13 with the bonus. A 12. Ba boom. 23. Okay, there you go. All right. I can see everything. Uh, well, okay, so well, how are, how are you guys alive? Yes, how is how are you following each other? Who's on point? Who's next? Who's caboose? What are you guys doing? I'll be caboose. I'm, I'm up with Dinka. Dinka's yeah, I guess leading. I'm on point. Okay. So you two are, are in we like crazy chained or are we clumped up? Yeah, that's it's time to start thinking about that. We're we're into the point of we should probably here. be in a line. We're basically in a minefield. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be like six feet back from the person in front of me. Pretty Ish. much. Same. Right, okay. Perfect. All right. So you guys begin to uh, just travel towards that <clears throat> that cluster of houses on the map. Uh, what you guys do see off in the distance. Uh, some of you guys do see uh, a couple of anomalies that seem to glow, like green, kind of off off to the side, not in your direct path, but you see them around. You know, just kind of sitting in the middle of pastures or along the road. Uh, you see kind of bubbling green pools. You see a couple of things that look to be like uh, like sparks kind of just going off. You know, and they, they seem to be clustered together in fields. Uh, you're starting to realize that this is a very, very dangerous-ass place, and these things are going to be absolutely everywhere. Uh, whatever rumors you heard about how it's it's it might have been overblown, how dangerous it was, or anything else, uh, you you are certainly one hundred percent believing now that this this place is going to be the death of you if you're not careful. Uh, Ela, what you do see is in front of where Dink is about to step, probably about five feet or so from him. Uh, you do see something that looks a little bit like those sparks that you can see off in the distance. Hey, asshole, watch your step! Uh, I'll go ahead and just, like, grab them and, like, pull them back. There you go. Uh, so, I'm yeah, jumping you, you and looking that. around. Good looking up. <laughs> I was eyes up here, I wasn't eyes down here. Yeah, you can see that, the, yeah, there, there's some sparkly electricity kind of stuff that you can barely make out. Uh, you Please don't throw a rock into it. Around that. <laughs> oh, you tempt me. And you guys can hear, as you do get closer and you do notice, you can hear some sparks kind of just go. It sounds like a, you're kind of like a, a, a what a, a electric shock from a TV show would sound like. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to make my way around that with a safe safe berth. Okay, well you 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 get around it just fine. Uh you you how far out did you go from it to go around it? Call it 5 feet. There you go. Okay, well that's that is enough. You you were fine. Uh nobody set it off, thank God, and you do get past it. 
Uh, you're about halfway to the village. Uh, and you have noticed that it's not as simple as, as just moving like you would normally move. Uh, you guys are moving slower than you were when you were trying not to make a sound. Okay. Just because of all the shit that's, that's littered about. Uh, and you do start to see more buildings as you get closer. Old farmhouses that are just completely dilapidated and rotten to the core. Old barns, farming equipment, things like that. Uh, and you eventually make it to a main road. Or what looks to be a main road in the, in the zone. Uh, which is kind of littered with cars and, and things like that. Like uh, You do see... Off into the distance, there are more of these electrical anomaly-looking things that you, you don't know what they're called, but you know they're a bad time, probably. And you do notice that there is something off about a few patches of ground in front. You guys can just see that. Because there seems to be just leaves floating above the ground. Oh. Does so is that on the road or across the road? Uh it it looks like from what you can see, it's on the road, it's off to the side, it, it seems to be everywhere. And from what your map is saying, uh this road will pretty much lead you directly where you need to go. Gotcha. To that cluster of houses. This road seems to be what we need to follow, but it is completely fucked. Uh so we should probably keep it parallel, step away from it as best we can, but keep it in sight. Use it as a landmark. All right. So uh, try and travel parallel to the road. Hey, Use uh, it as a navigation aid. Just looking around, like, uh, I assume it goes out into the grass where it's harder to tell if it's fucked or not. Uh. Roll a spot check. Is that for all of us? Uh, if you if you're looking. <laughs> yeah, Might uh, as well. I'm looking everywhere I can. A lot of looking. <laughs> Twenty. What the hell is up with you? <laughs> Eleven. Twenty. Half. He has big, he big eye man. <laughs> yeah. He big eye big brain. Uh, it's it's my core stat plus it's a skill that I right. took so I've leveled it up. Right, yeah. Uh, did Shaggy roll? I am in the process of rolling. Oh, cool, cool. Okay. Oh, uh, nope. My character sheet auto filled something that it shouldn't have filled in. So make that a seven instead of a ten. So take three off of that. Twenty five. Okay, I was about to say a plus ten. Like, how the fuck does this work? Like, I was like, yeah, occupation no. plus <laughs> uh, two or three <laughs> skill boosting feats. Yes, yeah, something <laughs> you really just want to see. I mean, that's not a bad move. I'm Actually, not, you know what? It. Hold on, I saying. might, I might have something that because there. Why was there a three in that? I feel like I didn't type that in accidentally. Uh, it could be. That's Either way, that's call the twenty-five the zero, and I will review my make stuff afterwards but call it a 25 for now okay cool okay so uh dinkers corlin and shaggy you guys do see that there are leaves floating and, and sticks and shit like that above the just levitating off the ground kind of and just kind of <coughs> bouncing bobbing up and down similar to what's going on the road and that is on each side of the, the just the of the road you can see that Okay, so see um, it well enough to try and navigate around it. And I, yeah, you know, hopefully it's not all one giant thing, but we might be able to just throw shit into it and see if it uh, picks it up. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll hopefully not another person this time. <laughs> 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 the, yeah, uh, I'm looking at the smoker the, the, yeah, and the telling smoker. him no. <laughs> He just shakes his head, lights another cigarette, says it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> so what, you want me to fucking throw you in the goddamn thing? You should probably use a stone. <laughs> Not a stalter. <laughs> probably use a stone. 
Well, he's the one over here bitching about uh, all right. we're all gonna fucking die. And ju just try and match footsteps. Let's get moving. Yep. Well, uh, so you throw a rock into it, and you you hear a sound that it, you've never heard before. And you also see when you threw it, uh, there was like a, a brief light. Like it kind of illuminated a little bit before the sound disappeared. Nothing else happened. The rock didn't disappear? Oh, uh, no, the rock did. The, 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 the light. The okay. rock did not disappear. No, it kind of just, it's kind of just chilling there and floating. I'm not retrieving that rock. <laughs> nope. <laughs> just touch it. It's fine. It'll be okay. Get a stick. Poke it. Poke it. But yeah, you guys can detect them by by tossing a stone or something like that. That that does seem okay. to to do something to it. So you do know that there is uh, one of these anomalies up front. That's good. Um, uh, we we are following our uh, eagle eyed uh, scout. Okay, well he yes. he's doing it all right. Throwing the uh, the rocks, he seems to be hitting pretty much every single one of them and, and avoiding it. You know, so nobody's croaking. Nobody's uh at least uh, getting uh, getting an anomaly to death. That's good. Uh, you do hear from the the back end of the group in the middle. You do hear the uh, the smoker stalker. Uh, he he. He does seem to be curious, though. Uh, what what if these have artifacts? Shouldn't we be checking for artifacts? Do you even know how to find any? Well, Check I mean, with your eyes. I'm not going into one. Yeah, we just look. I mean, <laughs> we just look at them. I mean, but if you can find one. Why don't you go in there and find out for us? Well, I will. <laughs> I'll keep all the money myself. I'll just bribe a hey, guard. Get give out. your smoke before you go, huh? <laughs> Well, he, uh, start, he starts to go should off. Should have brought some group. fucking rain gear. Here, here's my good deed for the day. <laughs> Don't try and bribe the guards when you're already on this side of the fence. <laughs> they will just shoot you and take whatever you were going to bribe them with. Is fair point. If you're gonna go into it, at least give me the smokes. Those are my <laughs> smokes. Fuck yourself. He's <laughs> he starts to walk off from the the line. And, uh, so uh, just we'll, let's walk fast. Later. Let's walk faster if we so can. Throwing pebbles yeah. uh, away from him and them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's another one, I don't want to get covered in shit again. <laughs> oh well, you guys making another ten? Or still ten. covered in shit. Yes, yeah, still covered in. in yeah, I don't want to get covered in more. Yeah, a little bit. You guys need to roll something. No, you guys making another ten or fifteen feet down the road uh, before you. Uh, you hear something that sounds like a, a really fast gush of air. And uh, for a brief moment, you heard screaming right next to you. Uh, but then it's coming from above you. Um, well, so much for him. <laughs> uh, and it's that... Stupid asshole. And then you hear the screaming getting closer, and then you hear a thud. <laughs> <laughs> About ten, yeah, ten feet behind you. So, as uh, as as you are pelted again with uh, with gore and entrails. There have to be easier ways to kill yourself. <laughs> Just gonna know, sigh that, heavily. That was pretty automatic. I don't think he had to do fuck all. <laughs> there are definitely cleaner ways. Probably be a pretty fun ride though. <laughs> it's the fault that right. kills you, not the ride. So, <laughs> so we saw some shitty buildings that we've been kind of working yes. towards, right? Yep, and the buildings be become more and more common as as you make your way down. And about another hour or so, you you can see the outskirts of what appears to be the village on your map. Can I use? the zoom function of my camera to kind of like scope out a bit. How dark is it still? It's pretty dark. Uh, uh, very, lights? Very cloudy night. Uh, yeah, you can make out that there are some fires in the in the village. There are no... Yeah, so yeah, I'd, I'd grab the binoculars, do the same. Yeah, you, 
Oh. Uh, you guys zoom point in. of order. Yeah, what's up? That plus three was in. It's supposed to be there. It's the uh, skill emphasis, insightful talent tree. Oh, okay. That that works. Yeah, so, makes sense. Because dedicated hero. Yeah, because the right. dedication. Yeah. Well, that's pretty based. <laughs> Handy. Honestly, yeah. Uh, but you can see with if you're zooming in or using binoculars, uh, you two can see that there are people. There there seems to be people moving in front of the fires. Uh, you can see people sitting around them. You can't really make out what they're doing. You just kind of see figures. Uh, yeah, you, you don't know how many. You just know that there, there's three or four fires that you can see. Uh, and the buildings are what they look to be like they, they are not inhabited. There's no lights coming from them. There's no nothing. I mean, it, it's as if there's you know no power here. Oh, really weird plant. for the area around a power plant. <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> <laughs> Which that actually, that, I mean, for for all you guys know, that is weird. <laughs> I mean, there's electricity coming out of the ground in some spots, right? <laughs> uh, the pipe must have burst. <laughs> all the plumbers now uh so what do y'all do you do see that's the village you, you, from what you you can gather that is the place you're supposed to go from what you understand uh and it looks like the anomalies kind of just stop there's a there's a couple scattered around but uh that they, they are definitely not as clustered as they were are we able to see the kind of light that some of them put off at this time of day? Uh, the, Since some of them seem to the anomalies or the uh... yeah. Uh, yeah yeah like yeah uh... like the, the sparkly one you can you can make that one out pretty good the the bubbling green goo you can make out pretty good because it's glowing off a little bit. Uh, other ones they are basically fucking invisible until you're really close to them. You can't really make them. Uh, so, uh, what, what do you think? Do you guys want to announce yourselves uh, before we show up or just walk in unannounced with guns as strangers? We should probably let them know we're coming. Probably. And, you know, if it was the army, they probably brought a generator out, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's play walk. this shit cool, though. Well, I mean, we like, we can just flash a flashlight at them. I'm pretty sure they'll... Someone will yeah. notice that shit. I got the headlamp. I'm gonna cross my arms in a way that has my right hand over my pistol on the outside, just to kind of hold it in place and know that it's there. Yeah, uh, you we good for just... me to flash a flashlight over that way? We could just make ourselves obvious, just to put our headlamps on and not walk as quietly as we have been. Don't avoid the bushes, that sort of thing. Yeah, don't want to work. Works fucking, for me. Yeah. Same net effect. Yeah. So okay. it's, it's less of a signal as much as a general. Somebody's here. Uh, so yeah. You guys just all turn on your flashlights, start walking up then. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm turning okay. on yep. my headlamp. Click. Click. Yeah. Well, uh, you, uh, get, you get about a. For, for what it's up. worth, I've got one of those stupid L. Uh, Yes. Torch lights on uh, my yeah. vest. Yes. <laughs> uh, you get about 100 feet away from the, the, the fence that's surrounding the little village, and uh, you see some headlights, uh, some headlamps turn on, and uh, they, the figures wearing them begin to walk towards you. Uh, you Going as to. They, as they get closer, you can you can see that they are carrying weapons. Uh, one of them has his hand up, kind of waving. And I will I return of, the wave. I, I wave back off to the side, <clears throat> open hand, not not low ready or anything, just off to the side, other hand open. Well, they come up to you and look you up and down. So y'all are new here, huh? Yep, that Fish obvious, huh? Yep. All I can guess. So, uh, who brought you in? Uh, well, we contracted Coyote, but he uh 
Sing longer we have problems getting through the wall. Oh. He's missing half his face. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Man, he was a nice guy. Did you happen to check his jacket? He he had a, a letter for me. No, the military was shooting at us. It wasn't my top priority. Oh, well, you'll find that's pretty normal out here. You'll get used to it. Oh, come on. Let's all bring you in. We'll bring you in. Yeah, I will follow these guys. Motion for you guys to follow them. Relax my arms. I want to introduce myself to this guy. And the, the, this is where you uh, tell us the detail where they're all in leather jackets with gold chains. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> wear <Don't worry>, tracks, dudes. <laughs> you notice they all have this weird skull patch, too. <laughs> Must be a cool kid kind of thing. <laughs> It's a good point. We didn't ask him to describe them to us. Nope. <laughs> I was just trusting strangers. That's, it's you know, fine. why not? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're rookies. We're new here. New to the game, new to the zone. But you guys follow them, and they bring you around into the village. Uh, from what you can tell as you're walking past the other stalkers sitting around campfire, some of them are pretty well equipped. You know, they have some kind of, you know, Vests, one of them has a weird spaceman looking suit kind of thing. Uh, a couple other ones are just wearing clothes that you would see on this, a normal city street. Uh, from what you can tell, you guys, you guys are a little bit more equipped than, than most people here. Uh, you're still not doing good. <laughs> uh, the two guys leading you in seem to be wearing camouflage suits that you've really never seen before. Uh, and they are wearing uh, they have dust masks around their necks, and they're carrying AKs. Uh, they're they seem to be knowing what they they seem to know what they're doing. Uh, none of the houses are really inhabited. Uh, they're they're about as run down as the, the farmhouses you saw. Uh, you know, broken windows, rotting floors, roofs that are just completely destroyed, with holes in them. Uh, there's a there's a cluster of about eight or nine houses here, uh, a barn. Uh, but th they bring you into the center of the town where there's a larger fire and there's a couple stalkers gathered around. And one of the two that are leading you in turns around and says, "Welcome home, guys. I'm Dutch. This is Lice, and uh, yeah, we're uh, we're kind of kind of a big deal around here. So if you need anything answered or need any help." Uh, bring money and ask us. It's a good uh, system. Other than mm -hmm. that, just make yourselves home. Don't don't mess with anybody's stuff. Uh, if somebody's sleeping somewhere, that's that's where they sleep. So don't sleep next to them. Uh, don't be an asshole and try not to die. And I think we'll we'll probably talk to you in the morning. I guess if you don't run off. Is there somewhere to run to? Well, you get people yeah. to do. You, people get they they start to realize and it sinks in a little bit where they're at. Uh, they'll run back towards the cordon, begging the the military to let them out. Some of them even try to surrender. Doesn't work out very well too often, but some of them do. You know, uh, yeah. Others they try to find other groups because they don't like us or we beat them up because they stole something and they run off and we never see them again. Others they turn into, you know, mutant food. Where we find their dead body, and we, we get a couple of uh, rubles off their dead body. But yeah, you can sit here. Don't. It's up to you guys. Well, after a night like that, I'm looking forward to sitting down and taking a break. Sleep sounds good. Yeah, is uh, I like could use some sleep. a river or somewhere I can get this guy off of me. <laughs> this guy. Two guys. <laughs> <laughs> multiple fucking people it's mind just, you yeah, multiple it's, it's just a mixture at this point <laughs> uh yeah the I've uh, seen it, this video it's actually yeah I've, uh, I, couch. there's a there's a little water spigot over there that goes to the well it still it still works um yeah you can use it i i mean i i wouldn't recommend it <laughs> but but you can 
Uh, uh, why wouldn't you recommend it? Oh, one of our guys, uh, he was a new guy. Uh, we we generally ask that you, if you do use it, you should probably use some kind of purification on it. Because uh, he ended up shitting his guts out and he died. Uh, huh. But yeah, that's, I mean, you could roll a dice uh, unless you got something to you know, filter it or whatever. But uh, what I can say is if you, if you guys can wait till tomorrow, uh, I can get Sidorovich to talk to you and he's probably, he, he could get you hooked up with some, a shower or water or something like that. Oh, it uh, sounds it like be... waiting's just the right plan. It is. <laughs> I'm going to roll the sense motive. Okay, go for it, buddy. Uh, he is not holding anything back that you can tell, uh, and you, you do just generally get the vibe that you are a, another face that's going to last a day, and he's never going to see you again. Okay. Who did you say these guys were? It was Ly Lice and... Lice and Dutch. Dutch. I wonder why it's called Lice. Oh boy. <laughs> Crabs. He should try and wash his hair <laughs> in the sink. I mean, it would kill the lice, maybe. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> kill him, too. You stick your head in that burner anomaly for a second. <laughs> Torch him out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you guys just set up camp uh, around the fire. Yeah. Right? Okay. I'm going to go up. Which one of these guys was the one that mentioned that Coyote was carrying a letter for him? Oh, that was Dutch. Dutch. Side quest. Side quest. Yes. Go back, <laughs> go back to the cord to try to find the go body back. that's surely been incinerated by now. <laughs> yep. Ukrainian postal service. Yeah. That's a fucking post the zone post, man. <laughs> zone posting. Yeah. Let's see you guys set up around the campfire just uh, do you guys want to talk? You just want to go to sleep? Or what, do you, what do you guys just want to do? Probably oh, for... chat for a little while because while exhausted, I feel like I'd probably be pretty wired. Actually, yeah, you, you, you did just watch your man guys. get too, you know, misted. Yeah, <laughs> it turned the, into jello. The chemicals uh, haven't gone pretty yet. So. I actually introduced myself to these guys and yeah, talk about to say, bit. uh, if you guys yeah. want to sit down and Introduce each other to introduce yourselves to each other and describe your characters to one another. That would be a great time to do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, are we role playing? <laughs> Some kind of game this is. No, I didn't Holy sign shit. up for that. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. I, already I, know I need to roll an attack roll shooter. right now. <laughs> to roll dice. <laughs> Where's the goblins? I, I just know that. How much here. XP do I have right now? <laughs> How much XP is Dutch worth? <laughs> Roll an XP check real quick. <laughs> no, I just know there's somebody um, in the comments already just like reading. Why didn't they do this? I right? don't metagame. I don't know who they are. <laughs> yeah, totally I'll, I'll go. It. But this is session zero. It's at the beginning, so shit, shit takes, yeah. you know. Not everybody here uh, has wasted enough of their life playing role-playing games to know how it works. No, I just wasted my life doing other things. There you go. Well, now you have the best way to waste your life, which is describing your oh, character goody. and introducing yourselves to each other. <laughs> so, sitting around the fire, picking the remnants of that guy out of my fingernails. <laughs> uh, and I look over at... Uh, Anatov, Antonov, and yeah. ask him, uh, so what's with the camera? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Journalist? With who? Whoever will pay me for it. Are you, are you doing <laughs> a character for your voice, or is this just you? Like, are we yeah. in character or out of character? Uh, I'm in character. Um, so I'm technically a Westerner. Right, I wish I, I wish like, so much a correspondent for Spice News. <laughs> spice News. <laughs> <laughs> I work for BuzzFeed. You are Yankee Doodle, huh? 
Dad was Ukrainian. Oh, he said you were Western. Yeah, well, I got I, okay. Out of character for a minute. I talked about this uh, with Jeek, and we kind of settled a little bit in chat that one of the parents of my character was a oh. defector from the USSR. Okay, so I missed the role play there. Okay, yeah, uh, no, so, like, yeah, it doesn't uh, exist. So yeah, if if, if in character, right, because like, the session zero shit. If he he's his character might be offended. Like I'm not American. I'm Ukrainian. My my dad right. was. Ukrainian. I thought that was you piece of. I shit. thought it was an out of character. <laughs> like, <those laughs> I thought that was an out of words. character comment. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. So that was on me. Um, yeah, just say oh. that. Yeah. <coughs> just if you have to. Well, you Ukrainian, yeah. but your your voice is. Uh, Western, American, yeah. Is that a Kiev accent? Or... Okay, good talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I believe that. No. Well, I tell you, it is not Kiev accent because I am from Kiev. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Dinka Rubles. I before this. Work at a small automotive plant in Kiev with uh, my wife Nastya and uh, my daughter, uh, my wife Natalia and my daughter Nadia. Um, I was making okay money, is is honest work, but we found out that Nadia is sick, and her treatments are very very expensive. Uh, the it would take us it would take us years to save up the amount of money that it would need and and by that point we would have probably buried our little girl. So I am here because everyone knows that this is a gold rush. It's dangerous, of course, as we saw. But <laughs> uh, we all know the stories. The the things they pull out of here and sell on the black market. I, I'm going to I'm going to make enough here to save my little girl. Good luck. I hope you do. Thank you. Colin's going to be kind of off to the side with his jacket off and he's kind of shaking it, trying to get all the shit off of it. And he's like, Oh, I'm Colin. Nice to meet you all. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Talking of answers. <laughs> keep doing that. It's great. I mean, honestly, just keep doing it. <laughs> no, I mean, like, tell me you're actually speaking English. Yes. Yes, I am. No, he uh, knows. I mean, he knows Russian. <laughs> oh, that would be base. Just, I don't speak Russian, Russian in an guys. Irish accent. <laughs> Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, he's speaking Russian and Irish accent. I don't speak Hi, Russian. Hi, Suka Black. Suka Black. What on that? Eat your nahue. Eat your nahue, Suka Black. Fantastic. It's like that Conor McGregor <laughs> fucking cartoon. From, uh... Give me your belt. <laughs> Give me your belt. <laughs> Give me your artifact. <laughs> I need it. It's uh, here. Sidorvich. All right. Sidorvich. Give me your artifact. <laughs> Come here, Beth. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, continue. <laughs> Please. Uh, so we'll, I'm only we'll here to try to get... Oh, my dumbass of a brother went and got in with a mob and he's broke. Now he needs money. They're keeping him as collateral for some fuck off reason. I don't sure why, but you know, they never tell me nothing. All I know is I need money and I need it eh, soonish. Need money? Here to save your family? We are two of a kind. Oh, huh? well, you, you certainly see a lot better than I do, that's for sure, though. <laughs> As to before this, I was uh, just your general rover vagabond, you know. Raised by my grandfather, who was, uh, you know, Part of the revolution. So yeah, he's gonna sit down and lay on his backpack and pull out a cigarette. 
My grandfather is also important to me. This is his. 1943. Took him all the way to Berlin. It has been over the family fireplace since then. According to Babushka, it still works, but I've never had the opportunity to find out. Hopefully she's <laughs> right. Well, yeah. from what I've seen, there's probably going to be ample opportunity to do so. Uh, unfortunately. Wouldn't be the first time. I'm not just being quiet. I'm studiously not volunteering information. Mm -hmm. I'm doing Sorry. the same thing, kind of. We still just got here. So. Right. Just... I'm, co I'm covered in somebody else. <laughs> multiple of somebody else, mind you. Two multiple people. I'm covered in people. I'm not I'm gonna... ready to talk about too much yet. <laughs> Give it time. He'll open up. I'm going to pull out my gun, make sure there's no like bits of people in it. It's pretty people clear. Uh, okay, good. It's got a nice red, rust red patina now. But other than that, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it functions correctly. Preventative uh, coating, you know. <laughs> Peek inside my parka, and I'm pretty confident that it wasn't covered. But it, I'm always going to make sure. Okay, well, you guys... And look at this. What's up? All of us sitting here, and no one has a guitar. Uh, ah. Well, you do hear a I have guitar this. off in the distance. Uh, a couple other stalkers do, do have guitars. They are playing. Uh, drinking uh, and just basically chilling for the night. do not have guitar, but I do have this, and I pull out a harmonica from my bag. Oh, right, boy. Roll a perform check. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, this is It's going to be, be a good. two. <laughs> the one time you roll shit, it's going to be this. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I can smell it. Oh, it's, it's going to be better. good. <laughs> <laughs> He's mediocre. Dude, he's dog shit. <laughs> 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 so you you uh you you all cringe and and everything else as as your new friend Dinka begins to uh make some kind of death sound that that a fucking squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> this moment is priceless, and I take a picture of it. <laughs> uh, it, it turns out pretty good. It looks like something you could send into Times or time, like, something like that. You know. Spice News or yeah. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I am aware that it's not going well, so I just sort of just stole it back. I'm just going <laughs> to go, oh, no, that sounds great. You're good. I, I see the way you're looking at me, and I see the way those guys over there are looking at us. <laughs> well, oh, throw the bag no down, one. lay down. Attempt sleep. Yes, this is a good idea. I would like to follow suit. Yeah, I'm gonna look around. Yeah. I'm gonna try and spot check for like a decent spot to actually lay down and go to bed. That's all good. Okay. Six. There we go. Perfection. Twenty-three. Sorry, what are we rolling for? Oh, he's just rolling. Oh, he's looking for a place to sleep. sleep. <laughs> yeah, you find a Pretty much. <laughs> uh, well, you all okay, settle good. in. Yeah, you all settle in, and uh, you know, after you've wiped as much of the goop off you as you can, and uh, you, you you settle in for a, a good night's the rest. Goop. The goop. goop. Uh, after what feels like just closing your eyes. You hear a siren go off. 
a very loud siren. You you cannot sleep Ooh. through this. Fuck. Uh, yeah. All right. You, you, as you guys open your eyes and just look around, you see there the other stalkers who were camping out uh, around your area have stood up, grabbed their shit, and are making a mad dash for the abandoned ass buildings and screaming, "Get I'm up! I'm doing get the up, get same. Up, get up. I'm gonna yep. do that yep. too. Yep. I'm up." Up and running. To the get nearest. shit, get going. Well, uh, you guys grab your shit and uh, run into a building with a couple other rando stalkers uh, who are sitting on the ground in the corners, uh, clutching their, their backpacks. And uh, one of them's praying, another one is uh, pulling out a bottle of, of something that you assume is, is probably just pure ethanol and sipping on it. I want to squat next to the guy with the bottle. And be like, "What's going on?" It's a storm. It's coming. Is there a window near me? Uh, yeah, there there are some windows on that first floor. You can you can see out of. Uh, and okay. is this is the there something happening in the sky or something? Uh, yeah, you can see that the sky is starting to turn, uh, kind of an orangey color, a reddish orangey color, uh, from the north. Uh, and you, you, the wind is picking up, and you can kind of feel the earth starting to shake a little bit. This is one of those zombie storms they were talking about in that Jackie. Uh, the guy takes yeah. a swig from the bottle and uh, says, no, 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 this is worse. Shit. Worse than zombie storms. And he, he, he continues to just sip. And he said, it was that motherfucker who who shut it off? He started all this. That that bastard. Uh, who is that? Is that a listen check? No, he's just saying that, that you, you can hear it. Oh. Uh, but yeah, it is getting louder outside though. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, you're straining a little bit at this point to hear him. This is that fucking Strelik. He did it. He he caused this. It was all him. He's cursed. He's cursed. To take away from that, my face isn't going to melt off if I'm looking out the window during this shit, right? No, just don't be outside. Just stay I inside. take a picture through the window. And you get some nice pictures of that shit. Uh, that you start seeing some lightning. Uh, the earth shakes more. Big gust of wind comes by. The sky turns a really fucking weird red, orange, purpley colors, you know, in the sky. And uh, then you start to notice that birds are falling out of the sky. Oh, shit. Uh, after Are those birds going to turn to zombies? <laughs> Zombie birds. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Alfred Hitchcock movie now. I was about to say that. And you, uh, yeah, you, you sit through the storm. Which gets pretty intense to the point where the, the house is shaking and you're kind of wondering if it's going to fall in on you or something. And then it stops and a light drizzle of rain starts coming down. And when the rain comes, you start seeing people come out of, the, <clears throat> out of their, their shelters and picking up gear they might have left behind. And it's you come on out. Put two and two together. With everybody else. Yeah, as you walk out the door, you can realize it's it's basically safe now. There's not, <clears> too, <throat> there's really nothing to worry about. The sky is still a scary color, uh, but or not. there doesn't seem to be mad mean wind anymore. Or then the approach the nearest <laughs> stop shaking. Approach the nearest group of stalkers and just ask, "What the hell was that?" They call it an emission. <laughs> That's mission? The, that's the, that's the third one I've seen. I mean, they they get really bad. Apparently, they're a pretty new thing. It, what the hell causes something like that? No idea. It just comes. What from... causes men to be blown into chunks in the middle of the air? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's that swirly little windstorm looking thing we have back there. That's what done it. 
Thank you, Corlin. I asked the How? Stalker. I don't know. Uh, someone mentioned someone called Strelock earlier. Who is this guy? Oh, he's just a he's a he's the boogeyman, basically. It's, it's a, a story that people tell. That's that's it. I've uh-huh. never seen him. Plenty of those around here. No, basically, you can't. What we need another legend. Believe half what you hear, you know, and and that's about it. Because most of it's just lies and stories and people being crazy or drunk or whatever, and they, they, the stories can get you killed. But they they say he's a, he was he's the best stalker ever, and if he did exist, I be, I I do believe that he did come through here and Sidorovich did help him out. A couple other ones chimed in. Yeah, he, Sidorovich trained him, taught him everything he knew, helped him out. That's how you know Sidorovich is the guy to go to. I think we should go see him too. Yeah, you'll see. I'm gonna him. sense see him tomorrow. He's motive right now. I go sense motive. <clears throat> uh yeah, they're telling the truth. I just nod in a no- acknowledgement. To which you guys have heard similar things that Sidorovich helps all the new stalkers, makes them rich, et cetera, et cetera. Which is why there's a whole village of huddled up, uh, dirty, poor people right here. Well, they just haven't made it yet. Uh, so you see the other guys starting to go back to sleep. Some of them are actually just going oh, right. to outside the houses because it's still raining a little bit. Others just literally don't care. They're just laying on the fucking ground in the rain. Could I'm probably move back into one of the houses and find a spot that still has some roof. Yeah, can I... Is this uh, something to roll for, to spot for something that isn't occupied by a member of this no, party? You can. so what you can do is there's a thing called taking 10 or taking 20, and that's... Like, if it's something that you can take minutes to do, like, you know, to spend five minutes looking around for a place, you can just do it, you know. Like, All right. There's no need for, like, otherwise we would be rolling, like, dexterity checks to make sure you didn't trip after every step you took, you know. Shit like that. <laughs> right. And we're not and as doing soon as you rolled. No. As soon as you rolled a 10, so you took an average. Yeah. You got take, an average result. You can take a 10 or a 20. Find a, a, you could find a, a, a nice spot or a slightly marginally nicer spot in this the last yeah, the taking a 20 table. takes notably longer yeah <clears throat> and you can't take a 10 if you're under pressure or if there's like real consequences for failure and here there are real really no consequences at all i mean there's so yeah you Get guys wet. find some nice places to sleep you know one of you guys finds a nice little uh little corner of an abandoned building other guy finds a little place under a tarp. It's all great. And uh, you guys go yeah. to sleep again. Sleep and, in the morning. Yeah, you uh, you do wake up this time to to not in a mission. <laughs> and uh, there's, that's good. The sun's out. Right. Clouds clouds are still there. You know, a little bit of a breeze. Uh, but for the most part, you're uh, mm-hmm. it's just a normal day from what you can tell. Oh, that's my long rest, so I get all my spell slots back. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wait, wrong system. <laughs> uh, re with shoot. this little ragtag party. <clears throat> uh, so you guys uh, convene, you make breakfast. What's going on? Yeah. Uh, we we, we should eat we can all share a fire that's just efficient link back up with each other and uh, Uh, start one of those barrels pull a a rat for lice and or dutch who said they would get with us in the morning speaking of what the fuck is he yeah where are they oh well you can see uh, that there's mainly just the the poor people, <laughs> the people that look like you, uh, they're mainly <laughs> the ones here sitting around eating or drinking or, or just resting. Uh, you don't see anybody, you don't see Dodger Lice, you don't see anybody that, that looks like them. 
Let's get us one of these campfires before they all fill up and get some breakfast. Yeah, you guys go around a bar- burn barrel. Yeah. You you make it yours. And you you guys are a larger group. Most most people that are kind of hanging together, they're they're in groups of two or three. You guys are actually a bigger group. Well, our graduating class will get whittled down shortly, I'm sure. <laughs> oh boy. We've just gotten cut in half. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but you guys make some breakfast. You guys chill out. Uh, and as you guys are uh, sitting around the fire, eating some uh, some smoked sausage or, or whatever dry goods you brought in with you and sipping on some, some water from your canteens, uh, Lice, who you saw last night, walks up to your, uh, your, your little fire and uh, starts to warm his hands up a little bit around it. And it takes a look at each of you. And he th- looks like he's thinking for a minute. You can see there's some, some wheels turning behind the eyes. And, uh, so, yeah, you guys look like you're going to do pretty good. That was a hell of a storm last night, though. I'll tell you what. One oh, so that's guys. worse than normal. Uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty normal. It's just, I mean, I've been here for for a while now and I can tell you we never had those before. <clears throat> they all started a couple couple months ago. Oh well one of the guys uh when it was happening was uh holding his head and shaking and uh screaming something uh fuck Strelick. Oh yeah you hear that a lot. It's jealousy really. I wouldn't worry about it too much. <laughs> he's he's kind of a legend, you know. I, I met him, you know, once. Why do they blame him for these? This seems like it's something beyond what a person could cause. Well, when it was after, so Sidorovich is a great guy. He teaches everybody everything he knows, and you know we all we all scratch each other's backs. And he taught Strelik everything he knew. And from what Sidorovich says, he went went off and found a way into the center of the zone. And the center of the zone. Well, yeah, and they, they say, we don't really know. They say he turned off the brain scorcher, and he, they say he found What the, the fuck is a brain scorcher? Well, it used to be if you went too far north, uh, you basically your brain boiled in your head, apparently. I never saw it. I never went that far north. But... And apparently... Yeah, and if that's just something people know, why would you? <laughs> yeah, we do, yeah. Anybody who's been here for a day has heard about it. Take Mr. a picture Sullivan. of this guy. Yeah, he smiles Just... through the camera. He makes a little pose with his gun. Full well knowing this camera's never leaving the zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, apparently when you get past the brain scorcher there, you, uh, there's all sorts of magical stuff up, up, up north. Like the really rare, good artifacts. Really dangerous stuff, too, but they say that that uh that wish granter thing's up there. I'm sure you guys have heard about that already. Wish granter? You know nothing. Oh, that's what we're here for, right? <laughs> yeah, it's uh I I I've, I've never seen it or else I wouldn't be here cuz my wish would be granted and I'd be on a beach somewhere. But uh apparently if you get to it, it's some kind of weird anomaly or artifact that Grants any wish you want. And that's what they say Strelik found. That's why we haven't seen him in so long. It's been months. I mean, he, he disappeared after that uh, that big that big uh, military operation. I uh, That's the only explanation why someone would disappear out here. Well, he could be dead, but you know, that's just not a good ending for a legend. And he's not the type who would uh, who would let any little thing kill him. You know, I met him, like I said. I, I know him. He's, he's a great guy. I saved his life once, he, you know. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It was a horrible situation. And he keeps going on and on about a, 
what you can tell is a, a very embellished story about horrible yeah. mutants and and him saving you know a, a, this legendary character from uh yeah, you know, from certain death at the hands of these mutants. So I don't need to roll a sense motive. This guy is bullshitting. Uh, you can, like, you can. He's what he's saying is, is you can tell is is he doesn't seem to be lying. You can just tell off the bat. But you you've been around people enough to know that he's obviously like he's obviously embellishing this story pretty good. Like, yeah, Strelik's probably a real guy. The the brain scorcher was a thing. The wish granter is a thing. Uh, but as far as you know, he he certainly did not. Say, it was probably the opposite. Estrella probably saved him if he ever actually met him at all. Sorry, connection dropped out there for a no, second. You're good. You're good. Yeah, but, yeah you're uh, right. the guy's telling fish stories. That, that was the long. Okay. Story yeah. Yeah. Turned into a tall tale. Yeah. Um, whenever the conversation feels like it's sort of gotten to a natural point to change the subject. I want to bring up to this guy. Uh, Coyote said we should go see Sidorovich. We keep hearing about him all around here. You said you could introduce us. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, I think he's awake by now. But yeah, I'll go check. Give me a minute. And I appreciate yeah, it. He walks off uh, toward, uh, down down the dirt path through the town and... Uh, just kind of kind of looks like he just kind of walks off into the the grass a little bit. <clears throat> he just disappears. 